Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the SSL certificate. So on your website, you'll notice that on your browser there, if you click on the, the URL for your website, you'll notice that it'll say HTTPS or just HTTP. Uh, you'll notice a lock next to it. If you have this lock, that means you have SSL on your website. If you're unsure if you do have it or not, it's uh, I recommend um, copying your website URL and then going to uh, SSLshopper.com and then uh, putting your uh, website URL right here just to confirm that you have the latest security features and then uh, do check SSL. If you get a bunch of check marks here and it passes the, the test here, that means your SSL is good, it's strong. That means you can accept, um, that it's safe to accept credit cards on your website. So with that said, um, let me give you an example of what the difference is of using um, our SSL checkout page or your own checkout page. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'm gonna click on online ordering. In this example, what I'm doing is I am using our SSL. So let's go do that. Let's add an item to the cart. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, enter my information here. So as you can see, it has SSL. I'm going to go to pay with credit card. See, when I when I press pay with credit card, it takes me to a, oh, choose a time. Let me choose a time here. When it, when I say pay with credit card, it'll take me to a different page. See, it says you'll be redirected. It, it took me to the checkout, uh, that smart online order .com. Um The reason why I did that is because it is assuming that you don't have SSL. So what you have to do is you have to tell uh, the plugin that you do have SSL. So the way to do that, you go to settings, uh, checkout settings, and then um, if you scroll down about halfway, it says payment options. See where it says secure checkout page? See right now I have it enabled. It says if you don't have SSL installed in your website, you can use our checkout page. Now that we confirmed using SSLshopper.com that we do have SSL and it's 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 um, it passed all the testing here. Okay. So what we can do now is we can accept credit cards on our own website. So go ahead, disable this. Again, when you when you when you put disable, you're not disabling the SSL. You're just telling it that hey, I have my own SSL. Okay. So once you do that, press save changes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, order something again. Now I'm going to go ahead add to the cart. Check out. And then I'm going to do the same procedure like before. But now, when I click on pay with credit card now, see how my, the credit card uh, pops up over here. Okay, so that means I can enter my credit card number on this page instead of going to the other page, being redirected. This is also more convenient for your customers. That way, they stay on your website. Um, that way, they can enter right here and just finalize their order. Okay. Um, it, again, if you don't have, it's 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 recommended to have SSL these days on your website, even if you if, even if you want the credit cards to be processed on on uh, on our um, checkout page, because it just it it, it gives your customers more trust um, that they know that your website is secure all around. So make sure to do uh, get SSL eventually. If you don't have it now, um, just kind of have that in the back of your mind that you want to get SSL added to your website. Uh, I recommend using Namecheap. Uh, there's a lot of uh, companies out there that sells you SSL, but I think uh, this one is the best one. Namecheap right here. Uh, it's a very good price, see, $8 a year. And this is for uh, positive SSL, essential SSL. Um, again, if you click on the details, it'll tell you all the difference. I mean, you can get it from GoDaddy. You can get it from lots of different companies. Um, so it's up to you. I just This is just my recommendation if you want to use uh, Namecheap. It's called Namecheap.com. Okay. All right. Hopefully this video proved helpful. Um, again, we have more videos on YouTube for other information that you can acquire. Uh, thank you again for your time.